Hey guys, this is Stars and Bars coming at you with my very first tips and tricks videos. Starting off at number five tip, I say play with friends, you know. This is gonna help you get longer kill streaks. It's gonna be worth it. Just get someone on the mic, communicate with them, know how to play. Preferably someone that you someone that you've played with before or someone that you know was good. Right? Get them on your team, communicate with them, just chat with them. Communication is crucial. It's gonna help you so much more more with more than you think. Now number four is gonna be to know your maps. You know, if you're a new player this isn't gonna be very easy. You're gonna have to take some time, play the map, but look through them all, play them all. I personally went on custom games when I first started, played them all, just look through them, know the layout, know the spawn point if you can. And it's gonna take a little bit of time, but once you get to know them, it's so worth it. So if you haven't played a map on multiplayer, I recommend going and playing it on custom games first. So helpful. You can even put on some bots just so you know where the spawn points are. It'll be worth it. Now coming up on my number three, it's going to be to choose your loadout wisely. Now, if you're going to use shotguns, you're going to be limited to really, really short range. I recommend staying away unless you're having fun. And snipers, same, you're going to be limited to long range. So if you're going for a good kill streak, I'd recommend not using these unless you're very proficient with them. I say stick to light machine guns, maybe. They're going to have a slow reload, but you'll be able to get a lot of kills with one clip. I personally say stick to assault rifles. They're going to be a lot better. Use that. Maybe even a submachine gun, depending on the map or depending on your play style. If they work for you, then use it. I mean, go for it go with your style but just stay away from the shotguns and snipers. Coming on, to, on number two, it's going to be use your score streaks as best as you can. Now don't expect yourself to achieve the highest score streak possible. If you're going to set them low, it's going to work a lot better because you'll be able to achieve them, achieve them fast and multiple times within a large kill streak. If you go high, like the three highest you can go, chances are you getting one of them, if not all of them, are very, very low. So stick low, stay low. You'll be able to get them a lot. They're going to help your whole team, which in turn usually helps you. Or if you're playing free for all, they'll just help you indefinitely. Just stay low. It's, it's crucial I say this. Just stay low. And number one, <clears throat> use your perks. And these are. This is more of a tip. I say use these. If you don't like them, don't. But six cents is a lifesaver. It's going to help you in small buildings. And when people are close and you don't know it, it's going to show them on your radar. So useful. It helps you get hip fire kills if you kill, care about that. Now next coming up on scavenger, it's going to save your life and save your kill streaks. You're going to have so many times where you run out of ammo on a good kill streak and you're going to be really torqued because you didn't get to finish it. So I recommend these two perks greatly. They are perfect for it. Just stay with it. If you like this video, please subscribe.